Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you one of my math books. I've had this for a very long time. It's part of the Algebra Through Practice series, and this is book two. I do not have uh, the entire series, I only have some of the books. This one is the Matrices and Vector Spaces uh, book, and it's a very, very thin book. Uh, Cambridge University Press, I'm going to just smell it here. And this is basically a problem book, so this book is good for someone who... Um, is looking for a bunch of hard math problems to work through uh, in matrices and vector spaces, and you get full solutions to every single problem in this book. So very unique in that sense. The problems in this book themselves, I would say, are very different from a lot of the problems you'll see in um, textbooks. Sometimes th there's similar ones. There are similar ones, but you're, you're, you get something. Uh, when you get this book. It's very unique in that regard. And you can see here, here's the other books in uh, the Algebra Through Practice series. Uh, I, again, I don't have all of these books. That they're, they're a little bit pricey, right? They're not, they're not super inexpensive. You may say, why is it? They're, they're kind of pricey for a, such a small book, but the content, you know, what you get in this book, again, is very, very valuable in my opinion. So I, to me, these books are, are priceless. T.S. Blith, E.F. Robertson, University of St. Andrews, a collection of problems in algebra with solutions. This is a really, really cool series. I'm, I'm a big fan of this series. Um, and look, look how old this book is. And look how in 84, first published in 84. Let's just smell this. Just ah, amazing. So here, here are the contents. I'm going to zoom in so we can we can take a good look here. So. Background reference material, we're going to look at that. Matrices and linear equations, inverses and determinants, eigenvalues and diagonalization. Wait till you see the problems. Wait till you see those problems. You're going to be like, whoa, they're, they're hard. They're pretty hardcore. Vector spaces. Some of them are easy, though. Linear, linear mappings, inner product spaces. Then you have solutions. Look at all the time they spend on solutions, right? And then you have test papers as well. So, and then here's here's what, what, the, what the book is about. Let's read this. The aim of this series of problem solvers is to provide a selection of worked examples in algebra designed to supplement undergraduate algebra courses. Yep, we have attempted mainly with the average student in mind to produce a varied selection of exercises while incorporating a few of a more challenging nature. Although complete solutions are included, it is intended that these should be consulted by readers only after they have attempted the questions. In this way, it is hoped that the student will gain confidence in his or her approach to the art of problem solving, which, after all, is what mathematics is all about. The problems, although arranged in chapters, have not been graded within each chapter, so that if readers cannot do problem N, this should not discourage them from attempting problem N plus 1. A great many of the ideas involved in these problems have been used in examination papers of one sort or another. Some test papers without solutions are included at the end of each book. These questions, these contain questions based on the topics covered. Yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful contribution to the world of mathematics, this book. I, I, I just, and here's, here's uh, the background uh, reference material. Mm -hmm. It says here, uh, courses in abstract algebra can be very different in style and content. Likewise, textbooks recommended for these courses vary enormously. Not only in notation and exposition, but also in their level of sophistication. Yep. And then to give you a list of, of some texts here. I have a lot of these, actually. Uh, not all of them, but I have a lot of these. It's cool. And then here we have matrices and linear equations. So this is where this is where the book starts. Right? It gives you some, some knowledge. Okay. And then... That's it. <laughs> you're, you're thrown to the wolves, right? So it's 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 game on. Um, so this is easy, right? Just you've got some some multiplication here. It's like okay, you know, can you do problem number one? Probably. If you've had some linear algebra, you know how to multiply matrices. But look, they give you some weird ones. And here's another one. Okay, and then, um, and hence express the matrix notation of the system of equations. And then you have some more stuff here. It's a little bit harder, a little bit messy. So you get 26 problems here. 
and then you go to inverses and determinants. So you, you have some stuff, you know, they explain some background knowledge and then boom, here you go. So you're just, you're just thrown in. And again, you see it starts off pretty easy. You find the inverses of the following matrices. That's not something that's super hard, right? But you see it does get, it does get a little bit harder, um, you know, the further, the further we go. So yeah, it can get a little bit messy. And then eigenvalues and diagonalization. So again, we have some, some knowledge you read about that. And then you have some exercises. And it starts off pretty simple. Again, look, determine the characteristic polynomial and the minimum polynomial of each of the following matrices. So not nothing out of this world, right? And then have some more exercises. So, and then vector spaces. This is a good one. This has a lot of these exercises are in other books. A lot of key things here. Um, just just linear mappings, extremely useful, very useful, right? So this is again, this is matrices and vector spaces, but you see what the content it actually does contain. Um, this is very inner product spaces. That sometimes is not covered in an undergraduate course, and then you have solutions to chapter one, and you see the solutions themselves. You know they're pretty. They're pretty thorough. They're pretty thorough, right? Uh, the authors, um, you know, do a really good job, you know, showing all the details and stuff. And, and I have some of the other ones. Again, I don't have all of them. I wish I did. Uh, someday I'll get them. But they are a little pricey. But they are they are worth getting. I think so. If if you're interested in um, a, a linear algebra problem book, this is this is the best one I have. I have another uh, linear algebra problem book, but I don't. I like this one a little bit better, or a lot better actually. Um, just the layout is better. It's it's organized by section. Also, the fact you have full solutions. Uh, I'm not sure if my other problem book has. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not it's not as uh, not as nice as this one. I don't think it has answers to everything. Although this one doesn't give you answers to the test papers, but yeah, that's that's okay. I mean, you still get lots of exercises with with lots of solutions so that's pretty good and the prereq for learning linear algebra by the way if you're curious like how do you even get into linear algebra um you just you can just jump into it you know um maybe get a a, a book a, any linear algebra book should do and you can start this is good if you are already learning linear algebra or if you want a problem book uh, on linear algebra this is not uh for beginners but yeah Anyways, I'll try to leave a link in the description or something um, in case you want to check it out. Subscribe if you found any value in this content. Uh, check out my other channel, The Internet Sorcerer. I post random stuff there. And um, I have courses. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use my links uh, from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Keep doing mathematics.